Think about the wealth of information you have access to right now. Information right at your fingertips, whenever you need it. We have traditional media bringing us news and entertainment, but we also have the internet and social media where information travels blazingly fast and is easily gathered with a few taps or clicks. So it's not just the rapid evolution of technology that defines the modern era, it's also our unprecedented access to information. Let's explore the potential of this library where the textile industry is adopting more digital solutions. In the 7th century BC, the Library of Ashurbanipal was established. It was the first library in the world, containing 30,000 tablets organised by subject matter. Today, libraries are still valued as organised repositories of data, whether it's books or unique items, and more libraries are offering digital options. Brew has been in the fabric business for almost 30 years. Over this time, we've built a large portfolio of collections and designs in a wide variety of styles, colours and textures. It's a particular point of pride that our collections cater to all tastes and design styles and that the products are so well loved that many have been active in the market for a decade or more. But this huge collection of fabrics also means a huge collection of samples. Sustainability is of utmost importance to us and an easier way to make samples accessible to our valued clients is a necessity. Twinbrew is the solution to the challenge of cataloguing and organizing fabric collections. Creating digital twins of the physical fabric collections means less fabric goes to waste and samples can be enjoyed with the true characteristics of the fabric on display, including the color and texture in lifelike quality. You can consider digital twins to be doppelgangers of uh, real life objects, of physical objects. And these were actually first known in the engineering world to assemble and maintain machines or infrastructure even. So they have been there for quite a while. And what makes this really special is that we can consider Bru or Twin Bru to be a real pioneer in these digital twins and the resulting library of uh, Twin Bru in interior furnishing industry. That also means that we have a huge amount of these digital twins uh, of uh, very high quality, uh, giving virtual environments a look and feel that resembles reality a lot more uh, than the photographs we used to work with in the past. Uh, and in this way, digital twins actually open a range of opportunities uh, in a world of further and further reaching digitalization. We really see happening these days. The entire collection of fabrics at Brew Textiles is around 21,000 SKUs. So we felt it absolutely essential to create a categorized and detail-oriented library when Twin Brew began the process of creating digital twins. So right now we have uh, almost 12,000 uh, twins in our portfolio of running products. To complete that library, uh, we have been scanning for almost four years, uh, three years to scan the backlog, so that's uh, items we hadn't scanned before and we wanted to have in our portfolio of digital twins, uh, and then another year to stabilize the whole library uh, and uh, go from production mode to real maintenance mode, meaning to tweak the existing twins and keep on extending the library with the twins of collections uh, we launch also. Um, when I'm focusing on the number of people that have worked on that library, uh, I think we roughly have been working with uh, four people. Uh, so that means that we have uh, four full-time equivalents having worked uh, about eight hours a day for these four years, which add up to about 20,000 man hours that went into this uh, Twin Brew library of digital twins. To date, Twin Brew has created digital twins of over 12,000 physical fabrics in the span of three years, and the process is ongoing. So, what does this pipeline look like? With all new collections being launched each year and then added to the ever-growing digital library, how does it all work? First, the new fabrics are approved for production by the Product Development Department. The mill then creates sampling meters of the new fabrics that make their way to Brew Headquarters. 
Each of these sampling meters become masters and are sent to Twinbrew to be scanned. Fabrics are then scanned using high-resolution scanners and go through post-production to ensure the digital twin is an exact visual representation of the physical fabric. And then when coming to the actual data behind the digital twins, uh, when you would look into the storage where we archive all these digital twins, uh, you would see that we now require about uh, 4,000 gigabytes of data for these digital twins to be archived. So that's uh, four terabytes uh, in our library. Um, that's because the original scan files are quite large. Uh, we have, for example, scan files of specific fabrics uh, taking up to half a gigabyte. Uh, but luckily, when we distribute these uh, digital twins, we can reduce the size to about 70 megabytes. The digital twins are then uploaded to Twinbrew's Digital Asset Pipeline, or DAP, and quality control renders are created. This final digital texture goes back to where the journey starts, the Product Development Department, who also do a round of quality control on the digital twin. Once they provide their stamp of approval, all the standard renders of the digital fabric twin are created and released. These digital assets are deployed to the Twinbrew portal as well as Swatchbook, they are also converted, packaged and delivered to our partner digital visualization platforms as well as libraries such as Chaos Cosmos. You will find information regarding the color of the fabric, uh, the texture of uh, the product, the gloss, the refraction of the light, transparency of the fabric, reflection, special effects. All these details are captured uh, within these machines. Uh, and the fact that we have so much data to be captured for every fabric uh, adds to the fact that we also require uh, such huge storage capacity. And when you then know that uh, for each of these twins we record about 10 basic properties per material to be able to uh, distinguish between them, to filter by specific materials into the library, uh, you can calculate how many actual workable data we have available um, and once you start combining that data of the twin themselves with the product data of the actual fabric, uh, you come to a total of about 1,200,000 properties for that uh, library of 12,000 fabrics. We are available to disclose. Uh, and that's also enabled people to uh, browse through this library in a meaningful and workable way. The library only contains the collections that are still running and not discontinued, yet it's important to keep on monitoring uh, the whole process. Um, and that whole process is actually monitored by multiple people from multiple teams or departments uh, at Bru. What makes Twinbrew's digital library so uniquely incredible is that each digital twin is catalogued with a large variety of scenes where all the fabric's possible applications are visualized. Twinbrew currently creates about 30 scenes and renders each of these scenes from three different perspectives, resulting in around 110 images generated to illustrate how one specific fabric looks in different circumstances. These scenes vary from standard setups to illustrate the exact look of the fabric to scenes showing the dimensions of the patterns, transparency and translucency of the fabric along with applications of the fabric on furniture and accessories. Among the most popular digital twin content is the variety of curtain installation styles. Being able to do this for every colour of a vast fabric collection means we can close the imagination gap by showing exactly how a fabric would look in a variety of interior designs. An important focus in our strategy is to make these materials available in as many 3D design platforms as possible. No further conversion of the texture uh, is needed anymore. They just need to plug in that texture and they can play with it in that 3D design environment. So that plug and play philosophy is important in making our digital twins ready to use for these people. If you'd like to get a peek into this remarkable library of digital twins, explore our Pinterest boards where you can see some of the thousands of visualizations Twinbrew has produced in the mission to set the standard in digital fabrics. Or visit the site for a more detailed peek behind the shears.